Hello guys, what is up today? So, we're going to look at what I can do with samples. So we're going to take like a sample from a sample library and some ways we can use it, abuse it, chop it up, flip it, use it for other purposes. Hell, even change the key um, using Logic's flex pitch and things like that. And even the process of making it sound like it's from tape or from vinyl and then chopping it up so you can get more of that authentic feel without actually sampling and getting into all kinds of copyright issues. So uh, let's get into that. All right, all right, all right. So we are inside Logic. What I'm gonna show you are three quick ways that you can take a sample, flip it around and make some kind of edit a new thing out of it just in the playlist editor here. So we're not gonna use any plugins, we're just gonna work with the audio and I'm gonna show you these three pretty quick techniques. So the audio I've used, I've just grabbed what is the higher power beat from the Logic library, which is this. Pretty standard booming hip hop beat. And I've grabbed West Coast Piano, which is this. And we've just made a couple of quick flips. So the real first one, it's just got uh, three cuts of a sample and then this fade out going on the end. So just have a listen to what's going on with that. Of course, we've just made that quick triple cut and then the tape fade out, heard on loads of uh, classic tracks. It was an MPC trick that you could do using the Q links on there. We can do the same thing in here. So all we've done for that is hit T and I and we've chopped one of the transients here and we've just reduced it down so it fits in that space. And we've just then looped that three times. Now. The trick is obviously happening here at the end. Now what we need to do for that is select that particular sample. And normally, I'm sure you're aware, you can fade out samples. So if you grab this, you can do that and it gives you a fade out. However, we can actually change what that fade out is doing. So if we select this sample and have a look in the inspector here on the left, we can get that up by hitting I. And we see here it says slow down. Now normally that's gonna say fade out. I bet you didn't even know that you can click that and choose slow down and it changes the fade out to that slow down trick right there. So that takes about 10 seconds to do and you've already flipped that sample. All right, so the second one, I've taken the single notes, these smaller notes here, cut it out in the same way, and we've done this. Cool. So what we've done there is taken that singular note, and again, using the inspector, we have just pitched it slightly within a set key that works. This goes up two semitones. This comes down two semitones, and then it rejoins the original sample here real simple so you can just take a single note out of a piece of audio transpose it to fit and create a melody out of it takes seconds to do nice easy sample flip now the last one going a little bit more extreme I've had to put it on a separate channel you need to enable flex time so that is up here you can enable it by doing control and f and as you can see here it's got the note for each individual chop that we've got here kind of weird right if we hit E, it brings up similar to the piano editor. And you can see the note for each sample chop there. Now I've completely switched the key out, gone to F natural minor and just made sure it sits everywhere in there and just re-pitched it. It gives us a completely new vibe on the sound. And we've just taken that same single piano note we did before and just made this crazy thing. Now the thing to note with that is you can take any sample and start really digging in and going a hell of a lot deeper than what I've done here and just re-pitching it, but you can have everything so it sits perfectly on pitch and all sorts. It's uh, 
very, very powerful tool that allows you to just work in the audio editor and flip the samples around. So those guys are three really quick ways to flip up some samples. I hope that was helpful. I will see you on the next video.